This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? Finally, it's here, the Volkswagen ID bus. In this video, we're gonna do an interior review. I will also include the baby stroller and the baby seat test. Uh, yeah, but before that, I guess we should check out the frunk. You might try to open this part, right? <laughs> no, no. Voila! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just fill up uh, washer fluid here and of course there's no frunk here But it's, an, it's a nice mug, like it's in the underbite, like Get out of the left lane, yeah And the charge port is on the right side with the wrong side, should have been the left side with the right side But at least it's near the edge, well done Wait, did we have... Ow, ah, ow, ah. We have kick sensor <laughs> I just kick a little bit hard <laughs> Okay Wait, we've been leafed. But okay, so uh, this is quite nice. Wow, look at this. Load it. We need to measure it, but okay. Let me see. Let me show you here. We have a button here for unhugged couple. Huh? And then just remove it like this. And here we have a partial shelf. We can just remove it like this. And you're going to have to take it out completely. And this is interesting. Wait, did we have this in the prototype? Look, you have uh, storage here for your cables and uh, safety equipment, but you have this build-up shelf here. It's so that you get flat floor when you f uh, fold the front seats, but you can actually take this one out and get even more storage. Maybe I'll show you this more in detail during the one uh, during the uh, banana box test. But okay, but look at this. We, we need to measure some stuff at least in its disposition. So. The loading height is 66 centimeters. And the depth of the trunk here is roughly... Wait, hold on, it doesn't give it. Wow! 123 centimeters. And the width here is 123 centimeters also. <laughs> what about the height here? Well, actually, it depends how you measure it. Uh, how do you measure your penis? Like this one, it's 85 centimeters. But what if you measure from the bottom here? Uh, kind of ish. Okay, a little bit diagonally. Wow, 120. Let, no, no, let's say, let's say 110 centimeters. But uh, actually, in order to remove this one, you have to actually twist this open and t remove it. So let's just keep it there. Let's keep it there. I'm gonna get, have some tension for the banana box test. And then what else do we need to check? Uh, this opening maybe? No, I already measured it, yes. We should try to fold the seat. Here we have 12 volt outlet. I'm not sure if we have 12 volt outlet in the front. It must be like the other ID family. They only have 12 outlet here and not in the front. But you see, we have placeholder for what will in the future be a seven seat configuration. Like an armrest, there's some cup holder, some USB, free to USB. I'm not sure what this one is, some speaker there. So, yeah, and here we have, yeah, that's an uh thing, and there's some speed. Well, oh, there must be subwoofer there, aha, uh -huh, because this one doesn't have the subwoofer. Look at this. How the heck is it possible? That side is folded, and it's as flat as this one. Well, look here. When you fold, look at the mechanism. The seat sinks down, so you get flat floor. Whoa! Oh, oh man, huh? Look at that. Let me see. <laughs> German engineering. Well, let's measure this length. By the way, I can actually measure a little bit further here. We don't measure this one because actually if you close the door, then uh, this cover does not go all the way to the rear e edge. So we actually have to add a couple of extra cement centimeters to the previous me measurement, but all right, anyway, we're running out of time. It's getting dark. Whoa! 227 centimeters. What about this length here when we have the seat all the way forward? 235 centimeters. Wait, wait, wait. What about diagonally? If you buy something big from Ikea? 256 centimeters. <laughs> You don't need a trailer. You have a freaking van. Just put it in here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I need to test this. I need to test this. 
Wait, can can this take the weight of my big fat butt? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, look, wow. You know, I requested to borrow this car to go to the Arctic Circle. This is gonna be freaking heaven, man. Look at this, plenty of space. <laughs> you see here we have sliding door, but, okay, very nice. You can also control this in the front. You have some controls in the mid in, in the middle console. I'm gonna show you. You can actually open one or both doors well, from the front also. Huh? Very nice. And then wait, let me see. I need to close one of them. Because I need to I need to measure the width of the seat. How much space do we have? Very nice. I mean very important for comfort. Okay, well we have to measure it kinda. Of, I have to offset a little bit here so you can get an idea. Wow. 147 centimeters and then what about the height here oh this is proper uh, let me see 37 centimeters this you see i'm not sitting like this it's actually very nice and comfy and then here we have a table with cup holder huh huh wait actually it feels a bit flimsy but at least it's like the the airplane style and then okay look here you can also recline the seat quite a lot wow i like this I like this do we have center oh we don't huh okay here we go see the cup well, just remember this is like a handle you see there is a mechanism under there so you have to pull this part here yeah but here we have a button to close the door and then, well, you can at least put your feet kind of under the front seat. Oh, now it gets dark. Hmm, maybe I should just open it for now. Oh, by the way, I can show them this side, since we have a nice interior light here. So, uh, some people ask, can you not open the... I wonder what this one is. Well, the speaker grill here seems kind of cheap, also over here. Hmm, but yeah, you can actually not open the window here. Hmm, okay. And then here we have one USB-C port. We have some door pockets, but also there is no ski opening here. Well, I guess, wait, can you just slide the skis under here? Actually, no, you can't. Hmm. Um, yeah, there's no center console or whatever here. Uh, so that's a, a small bummer, actually. I feel like the EQV interior is better. EQV is also bigger, by the way. But other than that, nice, nice look on the material. Mm -hmm. And then here we have, well, this is, wow, look at this, big sh shelf or big, big uh, something storage, but no USB there, no no uh, air conditioning stuff here, so uh, kind of basic when it, uh, yeah, some cars, they will have air conditioning here, what was it, what was it, the, was it the Peugeot or something, the Citroen uh, E-Space Tour maybe, this one, mm, not really there, we have a pocket here, that's pretty much it. But this is what matters, right? Headroom. Plenty of headroom here. I'm still 173 centimeters. But then uh, there's no panorama roof here. I wonder if there will, there will be a panorama roof option or not. So, uh, oh, 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 focus, focus. Yeah, okay. And the front seat. Oh, nice handle there. Ah, oh, natural. What, what's up? Okay, we have electric adjustable seat with memory and also massage. Just like over there. And then here we see you have the captain's chairs with armrest on both sides here. Wait, the car is going crazy now. It's like, oh, you are here. No, you're not here. You are here. No, you're not here. <laughs> well, okay. And then the steering wheel can be adjusted up and down, in and out. And then pretty big sun visor. And you can rotate it, but you cannot extend it. Wait, we had to check door closing sound. Huh? Okay, but wow, oh, 
it's so silent now. When I look here, I don't know if you notice, but yeah, there's an ambient light here that turns red when you open it, huh? You know, Germans are all about safety, yes. Uh, kind of plastic ish material here. This is for opening the trunk. And you see here, here looks just like the ID3, ID4. And also, I don't know if you noticed, but when you move the steering wheel, you, the instrument cluster also goes with it. And it still has that tiny instrument cluster. From my perspective, it will look something like this, you know? So <laughs> they could have made it slightly bigger, but no. Let's see, I'm gonna show you something here. This now shows you, this is the new ID software, I guess. It now shows you a trip meter here, and you can change it. You see, since charging, uh, long term, since charging, since start, huh? Huh? Do you like that shit? Huh? So, yes, and then here, what am I saying? So, uh, can I get some cabin light here? Cabin light is still that white, yeah, that white. Uh, I, I think it's a little bit too cold. I prefer slightly warmer cabin. What about uh, cabin? What about this one? Yeah, same same temperature there. Okay. Um, here, pretty much the same. No need to explain. Uh, just like the ID family, ID seems to be the bigger screen, like in the ID4, ID5. Here we have two USB C. We have a wireless charging pad here. Zuck. And you should see a symbol here soon. Well, mm, da, 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 yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> but I haven't found 12 volt outlet here. Okay, we have another USB C there. We have, okay, this side does not have USB C, okay. But there's uh, also, yeah, here we have the controls for uh, opening and uh, closing the door, the back doors, you see there. Um, and then I guess you can disable this if, in case you have kids maybe in the back. So if you just do this, yeah, then you know the, the back people cannot uh, mess mess with it. But also here, we have cup holder, huh? Two cup holders here. Uh, what else here? You can put some shit there, and then I guess here you can put your P TPS reports. There's some kind of wood. Is it fake wood or is it real wood? I'm not sure. Seems to be probably just you know. I, I bet this is just vegan wood. Yes, everything is vegan nowadays, even the wood. Um, so here you see on this perspective what it looks like. Wait, wait what about the light in the back now? Uh, this one only lights up in the front. No, 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 now we get light in the back. Okay, that's kind of weird. Wow, look at that. Huh? I like this bright interior. I also like the looks of the seats. Huh? And then here we have the center console. You can also remove this if you want. There's also more space here. Wait, how is this again? Yeah, the tiny little spaces here. You, saw, you see, normally, the windscreen on most cars would be maybe roughly here-ish, right? But in the ID bus, it is so far, uh, so far ahead, there, so far away from the driver's seat. I, I have never experienced this. I, you know, I have tested so many cars and also vans, and no van has this humongous. You can, I mean, like, like I can sleep on the dashboard here. That's how big it. I'm not going to try it, of course, but. Uh, and that becomes actually slightly problematic because I want to have a, a phone holder, right? So it works over here. By the way, uh, car scanner works here. As you can see all the stats here. Maybe I can show you guys. Uh, fingerprint, okay. The connect. But but what for me, I usually mount the cameras in the front windscreen. How the heck am I going to do it, man? And also, the, practically for, for people who will use this car, if you have some kind of phone holder or something, right? How do you mount it on the windscreen? I have no idea, man. You have to figure out something. And there is no panorama. There's no other alternative. Well, maybe here. Well, you, could, you have to find some mount for, for the air vents or something here. Yeah, I, I can show you here. Okay, so uh, in case you want to see all the stats, um, I'm charged to 98%. And you see that at 98%, the report 73. So I believe if you charge it to 100%, you will get close to 75 kilowatt hours. This is supposedly the 77 kilowatt hour net capacity battery, but it might have a different chemistry than the ID4, ID5 we tested. So we need to do a proper charging test because this one also hits 170 kilowatts, but uh, it, will it be faster than uh, ID5? We will see. Hmm, okay, okay. Um, and then other than that, um, yeah, I'm not sure, I almost forgot. How is the headroom? Wait, did I zoom out? No, no, okay, there. Headroom here, also pretty good, as expected in the van. Just feels, everything here just feels quite spacious, I have to say. But when I drive the car, 
I feel like I'm driving more like a sedan versus a van. When I'm, dr I'm driving the, the EQVs especially, uh, and also uh, ENV 200, I could feel like, um, I don't know if I can show, maybe uh, give you an idea. You see here, in those cars you sit more upright and the steering wheel is almost tilted a little bit like a truck. But here you have the steering wheel and the seating position more like a sedan. I like it because I'm a sedan guy. I'm not a van guy. I'm not an SUV guy. And what about putting baby stroller in the trunk? Well, this is a Cybex e -Prium. It's a mid-size one. Let me see. I just want to try this. Okay, we haven't taken out that uh, lower one, but uh, can we actually put this in without folding it? I need to try it. Oh, you can, you can almost... Wait, 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 I have an idea, I have an idea. There you go. I just broke internet. <laughs> this is brilliant, man. Or at least you can, if you, if you're not so damn lazy as me and you fold it, you can at least put two in there. Or if you lower the floor, then you can do it. Just to show you how big this trunk is. Oh, uh, here we have easy fix hole. They're by default already not uh, covered or anything. Hmm, that should be easy. Let's try. Always wear protection. I use this one from Diono. Well, it's from Amvina in Sweden. Wait, is there a place I can put this lip? Yeah, I can do it like this. And also, I like this cover because, okay, you want to, you want to cover the, the seat, but also, if you give extra friction so that the, the, the car seat doesn't go too much sideways. Okay, and then we take the Easyfix base. What? I just noticed it's so easy. Because we have the sliding doors and we have a large opening here. This is perfect family car. I need to buy this one. EQS go home. Okay, take out the hooks. Let's see now. How easy is it to kind of poke it in there? Well, I can just... You know, stuff like this, you don't realize how brilliant it is until you struggle in a small sedan. <laughs> Wow, let me see. Okay, and then extend the foot like this. We all set and then take out... Uh, uh, this is uh, Cybex Cloud Set. Again, easy to take in. Place it there. Rotate it. And that's it. And on this side, we now try the Anoris T. This is uh, from Cybex. It's a forward-facing seat with airbag. I'm going to use it once Isabel hits 15 months so in about one year actually wow it's so easy to take it in here <laughs> wow. this is like the easiest ever wait it beeps at me wait is this is it chinese or is it german okay i guess it's all about safety there voila wait i need to check something here can i actually sit here Ooh, wait a minute you know this must be one of the few cars where I can actually sit between the fairly big car seats. I know this T is big. This one, okay, slightly smaller, but most cars, when I try to sit here, I'll be so cramped. Here, I think I can even buckle up. Yeah, wow. Super spacious, man. There you guys have it. Volkswagen ID bus. So it might not be as premium as the Mercedes EQV, but EQV is more expensive, it's larger and thirstier. This one should be efficient, it's an MVB platform. And it just has that cool, iconic look. So what do you guys think, huh? Do you like this shit or not? That's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.